Hello, my name is Alessio Bernardelli and I work at NGFL Cymru as the Science Field Development Officer. I'm here today to show you one of our resources that's been on the website for a while, but it's still very useful to learn about convection currents. And uh, perhaps I'm going to show you a way to use the resource that might encourage your pupils to talk about science in a different way than what they normally used to. So let's have a look where you find this resource. If you go onto the NGFL Cambridge website, click on Key Stage 4, and then on Science, and choose this theme on Energy, Radiation and the Universe. Scroll down to Convection, and you could download the entire resource on your uh, machine, but we're going to open it from the browser today. And if you want to find this animation, it's the Convection Currents animation. So run it from your PC. And this will open a, web, um, a Flash file where you have this animation of the room. As you can see, the particles of air, of this particular region of air, gain energy as they go through the heat source, which in this case is the radiator, and they expand, leaving that region of air lighter. That's why the um, particles rise. And you have this nice commentary, which appears at different stages of the animation, but you could run it as a static commentary, or my preference, at least when I introduce the activity, is to have no text commentary at all. But before I introduce this flash animation, I would probably do a experiment or a demonstration rather with the children like this one, where I've got food coloring in hot water at the top and food coloring in blue for the cold water at the bottom. And that just shows them how the density of the water changes and just that allows the water in, in red, which is very hot, to remain at the top for a long time. But back to here then, how would I then use this animation? Well, I would probably bring with me my trusty, um, my trusted uh, microphone, which I stole from my kids today. And I'm going to use this as a bit of a talk show kind of um, activity. So I would have the microphone with me and I would uh, introduce the activity a bit like this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this uh, uh, NGFL Camry talk show today. And we have a, a very, very special guest in the audience today. It's the Particles family. And then I would move around with the microphone and interview different people from the audience, which is obviously my class. And I would pause here and go to one of the pupils and say, so, Mrs. Particle, can you tell us what happened at that particular time of your life? Now, it must have been very, very difficult, a really hard time. As, uh, as you can all see there, you all were very, very low. What went on in your life then? And the kind of response I was hoping to get from the children would be that uh, they would realize that the particles had less energy. So uh, they would say something like, uh, oh, we were in a very desperate situation. Uh, we had lost most of our energy and uh, we couldn't uh, bring ourselves up again. So I would continue the animation and go perhaps to Mr. Particles now and say, okay, Mr. Particle, what was happening at that particular time of your life? Who was that um, character there that was uh, seemed to have uh, changed your, your, your destiny at that particular time? And uh, then the, the kind of response I was hoping to get would be that they would realize that uh, the radiator was uh, giving them, uh, transferring some energy to the particles and the particles would uh, gain kinetic energy and uh, rise. I might even go to Mr. Radiator and uh, ask him his opinion on, on the situation. And only after I've gone through all this and asked uh, different pupils, I would start running the commentary and see whether their responses uh, were similar to what we see in the commentary. And then we can do some cross-checking and some feedback uh, from different uh, people in the classroom. Now, I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration on how I use this activity and that you might have a go in your classes as well. Thank you for listening and a goodbye from NGFL Camry.